as I'm telling you that there are uh, there can be a three number of skills as per the size of the drawing and, and I have already told you the RF what is RF RF is the length of the drawing divided by length of the object so drawing length by actual length okay in short you can say if you are asked what is RF so full form of RF will be representative fraction okay see here it is written in the Indivert book we will share this book uh, with you later on but please remember the term RF not factor, not anything. Okay, it is representative fraction. Please try to re remember the term because in the Bible, this question is being asked frequently. What is the full form of RF? So, RF is representative fraction and it is the uh, ratio between drawing length to the actual length. Okay, and as per the uh, uh, drawing, the, the so by, by means of RF, the sizes of the drawing can be de determined and, and three types of scales can be available, uh, reducing scale, enlarging scale and full size scales. So for uh, reducing scale, RF will be less than one. So the uh, uh, actual size of the object will be more than that of the drawing length. So and that uh, reducing scale can be used to draw uh, the object of the uh, drawings of the bigger objects like bridge, buildings, uh, like that, and the uh, enlarging scale. Next one is enlarging scale, where RF is will RF is uh, greater than one. Okay, well, where RF is uh, greater than one, so enlarging scales can be used to draw smaller objects like this part parts of the watches. Okay, so enlarging scales will be used uh, to draw smaller objects. Uh, reducing scale will be used to draw bigger objects. And full size scale, as the scale name implies, full size means the full size of the drawing. Okay, so full size will be used. Full size means length of the drawing will be equal to the actual length of the object. So these are the three types of the scales that can be based on the representative fraction. Okay, now let us move to a numerical. So this formula will be required to solve any numericals on scale. As Sir has given you a video on that video also. That formula has been used. Okay. Now here, uh, please open your copy and write. I will make the video available also after the class. But for the timing, please uh, write it in your copy. Okay. Students. Okay, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Please write it. Construct a plane scale. Construct a plane scale. I will tell you that I will tell later the difference of plane scale and diagonal scale also. So scale can be of plane or diagonal. I will I, I, I'm coming this to later on, but for the timing only know that plane scale. Plane scale means simple means one unit is divided into the next consecutive unit. Okay. So construct a plane scale to two so meter. Construct a plane scale two so meter when one centimeter when one centimeter represents four meter. Construct a plane scale to so meter when one centimeter represents four meter and long enough and long enough to measure up to 50 meter. Construct a plane scale to so meter when one centimeter represents four meter and long enough to measure up to 50 meter. Find RF and mark a distance of 36 meter. Okay, when one centimeter represents four meter, I'm telling this from the beginning. Construct a plane scale to so meter when one centimeter represents four meter and long enough one centimeter represents four meter and long enough to measure up to 50 meter. Full stop. Find RF and mark a distance of 36 meter on the scale. Find RF and mark a distance of 36 meter on the scale. Okay. The point RF. 
R stop full stop F, then and mark a distance of thirty six meter. R F means representative fraction, as I already told you. R F is representative fraction, and mark a distance of thirty six meter. Okay. Now just see my screen. Screen also, I have shared already shared my screen, and uh, draw the you will draw the scale will, uh, with me. Later on, but for the time being, just uh, try to understand how the, the calculations are being made. Okay, so RF, as we have learned the formula, RF is the drawing length by actual length. So from the, the informations given in the numerical, we have to understand what is the drawing length, and for the drawing length, what will be the actual length or the equivalent equivalent actual length of the drawing length. Okay, so you can easily see constructed plane scale to show meter. Okay, when One centimeter represents for four meter. So from this information, I can easily tell that drawing length is one centimeter and actual length is four meter because four meter line cannot be drawn in a in in your sheet in your effort sheet. But one centimeter line can easily be drawn. So from this information, I can learn that one centimeter will be our drawing length and four meter will be our actual length. So from this information, I can find the representative fraction. Uh, so representative fraction will be one centimeter divided by four meter. So we have to make that into same unit. So convert we can convert that four into uh, centimeter. So centimeter centimeter will cancel out. And RF RF has unit less. Okay, as it is a, a ratio be, ratio between the lengths lengths drawing length by actual length. So the ratio between lengths. So RF will has got uh, no unit. So here in this case, our RF value is be one is to four hundred. Okay, so our RF value will be one is to four hundred. Now in the next line, so firstly we have found the RF of the scale. Next we have to find the length of the scale. Okay, see in the next line is told in the problem there, and long enough to measure up to fifty meter. Okay, so during the construction of the scale, the actual length is fifty meter. Okay, so in the information, in the numerical, the information is given that long enough to measure up to 50 meter. That means when we will construct the scale, our actual length will be 50 meter. Okay, so for that actual length, we have to find the drawing length. RF has already been obtained, isn't it? RF has already been obtained. So from that information, uh, that RF is equal to drawing length by actual length, and actual length is 50 meter here. So one uh, by four hundred is equal to x by uh, x by fifty meter. So from that one, the length of the scale or drawing length of the scale can be found. Okay. So from the same formula only, as actual length is fifty meter, but the drawing length of the scale is not given. As we have to construct the drawing length. Okay. So it it will be uh, it can be found by the RF for formula only. So. Actual length is 50 meter, and RF has already been found as 1 is to 400. So 1 by 400 is equal to x by actual length is 50 meter. So the length of the scale x or l, whatever you may like, will be equal to RF into maximum length to be measured. Here, here in this case, it is 50 meter. So if is if RF is multiplied by 50 meter and can be converted to centimeter, then length of the scale can be found. And for this particular case, our length of the drawing length of the scale will be 12.5 centimeter. Okay. Now, at the next step, at the next step, we have to construct the scale. So, how it will be done? So, so firstly, now see my screen here. So, firstly, we have to draw a horizontal line of. I have drawn a horizontal line. The horizontal line of length 12.5 centimeter has been drawn. Okay, is that thing understood? So simply, as our drawing length of the scale has is coming out as 12.5 centimeter, so I have to draw. So I have to draw a line of length 12.5 centimeter. Okay. So once that horizontal line of 12.5 centimeter has been drawn. Now I have to take a height. So from one end of the drawing, just take a height of 
टू सेंट वन सेंटीमीटर ओके टेक ए हाइट ऑफ वन सेंटीमीटर ओके एंड फ्रॉम द अदर एंड आल्सो टेक द सेम हाइट वंस दे आर ड्रॉन नाउ जॉइन देम okay so a rectangle is is formed now is that thing understood the yes, steps yes. are firstly i have to draw a line of 12.5 cm length then a height 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 can i can take the height uh, as per my judgment generally we take 1 to 2 cm but for 2 cm line will become bigger so we'll take 1 cm line then Then again, from the other end also, we'll take a one centimeter height. Then if we join join that thing, so a rectangle will be formed. Okay. Now let us go back to the problem. Let us go back to the problem now. Now. So that scale. So uh, so drawing length of so drawing length of that scale is twelve point five centimeter. But actual length actual length of that scale is fifty meter. Isn't it? Because actual length is fifty meter, but fifty meter line you cannot draw. So if you have converted the actual length to some suitable drawing length, drawing length as per the RF RF value given in our uh, given obtained obtained from the information given in the pro problem. So that length is so actual length is fifty meter for the drawing length twelve point five centimeter. Okay. Now see, now see, I have to mark thirty six meter from the scale. So in order to do that, what I have to do, firstly, I have to divide the full size of the scale into five equal parts. Okay. So the full size of the full length of the scale will have to be divided into five equal parts. So how it is done? As sir has already told you, that inclined line will have to be drawn from uh, any of the sides, and then equal lengths are to be taken. So one, let us say. Once, twice, so five times I have to take three, four, and five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. Now I have to join uh, the last end with. Sorry. The two ends are being joined. Okay. Then, by means of the set square, parallel lines will have to be drawn. Parallel to the first line will have to be drawn. I cannot show you how it is being done by set square, but you can do. Sir has already told you. You can do it by yourself. Okay. So as as the line has been divided into five equal parts, then throughout the length, the lines are taken. Okay, like that, like that. My my divisions are not equal here, but when you will do with it set square, you, your divisions will be equal. Okay, so see. So the whole length of the drawing is 50 meter, and that has been divided into five equal parts. So each part becomes uh, 10 meter. So I will take the zero here. I will tell you why later. Right, zero will be will have to be taken here. So here 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000, 1000
my drawings are not good here. I'm sharing this from here, here only. Okay. But you can draw this by uh, this also. Okay. Like that, like that. So that bigger line has been divided into five equal parts and zero has been put here and the left hand side has been divided into 10 equal parts. Now you see as zero has been put here. So 30, 30 can be taken from here and six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six decimeter, meter decimeter, isn't it? So that's how 36 can be taken. Now, now the question arises that why zero is put here, not uh, at the left hand side, like it is being done in the scale generally. See, if we put zero here, so in, in order to mark anything, what we have to do, we have to divide the whole scale, whole length of the scale, isn't it? If we have to take a, any distance, so zero will be there, zero, then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So in, in order to mark, let us say 15, we have to divide uh, between 10 and uh, 20, 10 equal parts. Then then in order to, uh, in order to, if we have to mark uh, 28, let us say, then you have to again divide from 20 to 30, 10 equal parts. Then again from 30 to 40, to mark any distance between 30 and 40, we have to divide again that part and that part. So whole scale will have to be divided into 10 equal parts in the smaller uh, divisions if we put zero here. But if we put zero here, only the left hand part uh, can be uh, has, uh, has been divided into 10 equal parts. Our purpose is solved. We can we can mark any distance here. 36 has been already marked. If we if we want to mark 24, that also can be done. So 0, 20 here. 20 can be taken and 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here one mark can be done here and one mark can be taken here. So 24, then, then also 10. If we want to mark 18, then 10 here and 18, 5, 6, 7, 8 here. So 18 meter can be taken also. So if we uh, put 0 here, and so we have to divide only the left hand portion with 10 equal parts. That's why zero has been put here. This is the construction of the full scale. Let me stop the recording now.